gets tails. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Sauerbrunn kicks it off to begin overtime. Wynn fields the overtime kickoff at the 1. Tackled at the 25. Dexter Wynn got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Eagles' offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 25-yard line. Westbrook takes it across the line of scrimmage and rambles for about five. Julius Pepper with the tackle. Brian Westbrook just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough, and he struggled to get 20 yards on 11 carries. Second and five. Left, left, left. Off the Eagles, 30-yard Pinkston catches it in the flat, and the ball's loose. And he stopped right there. Ricky Manning delivers a punishing blow to the ball carrier there. And he gives up the football for the fumble. Great hard-nosed defensive play. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big-time play. The Panthers want to capitalize on the fumble and will start this drive at the 23-yard line. Smith goes in motion. Davis gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Lewis makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Michael Lewis came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? It's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Sheldon Brown came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. He records yet another batted ball. And I'll tell you, he's really playing well out there. Yeah, he's been after the ball from the beginning of the game. Real aggressive play. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Barely misses this one off to the right. John Casey misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. That's his third attempt today, and this time he cannot put it through. Still, he's put points on the board today, Dan, so he can't kick himself too badly. The Eagles fumbled the ball away last time. Let's see if they can hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 26-yard line. McNabb throws a bullet to the flat, and... It's complete for a gain of three yards. Second and seven. Kingston pulls it in right side and he is at the 40. Chase down at the 42. First down. Todd Pinkston knows how to play ball in the NFL. 
He makes the catch and then works for more yards. That's the kind of player you get the ball to. The balls are coming his way in the middle, and he's making them pay. You have to like his performance so far. Well, then I like any receiver who's willing to go over the middle and sacrifice the body to make the catch. Westbrook carries it for the 12th time, and he passes the line. Tackled at the 45. Mike Rucker with the tackle. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Morgan tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Dan Morgan managed to disrupt things. He got in there, and he smacked that pass away. Great D. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. You better bring it, T.O. You better bring it. McNabb lobs this one way over the middle and the ball is caught at the 27. Eventually tackled at the 25. It will be first down. And Lewis does a great job here battling three defenders. It's definitely worth a second look. Let's watch. And he still comes up with the ball. Wow, you can't coach that. And Peter, we've talked before about what kind of an impact a big receiver can have on a football game. That's right, Dan. A lot of people still associate receivers with speed. But right here, height is what did it. Westbrook punches this one left of center and takes it upfield. Hunted down at the 10. Face mask, number 27, defense. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Artrell Hawkins clearly tugs on the face mask here. You just can't do that and get away with it. Check it out. Yep, there's the flag. Definite face mask. That's a personal foul. The field goal unit is on the field, but I wouldn't be surprised they give up on moving the ball upfield so soon. Field goal unit takes the field. I know this game is unpredictable, but come on, guys. You still have got a chance to put it in. Akers with a 22-yarder, and they take the lead. David Akers moving the short one through the uprights. Hey, it's three points no matter how close you are. Although they get the field goal, that's the third time they've had to settle for three points from the red zone. Can't be happy with that. Nope, you always want to punch it in when you're close in like that. And that will do it for tonight's game. The Eagles come out on top 16 to 13. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN Studios for our ESPN Video Games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Eagles stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Matt Ware shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Touchdown for the Eagles. The Eagles even the score 10 all. The Panthers, after getting an interception, ball at their own 25. Ricky Prohl Shampoo found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. Game tied, 10 all. Artrell Hawkins was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Panthers have it off an interception. John Casey was called upon to attempt the field goal. This one, good. A 45-yard field goal. Panthers winning 13 to 10. Donovan McNabb would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. This time at the 32, Donovan McNabb connected with his man on this one. That set up a 27-yard field goal. Game tied, 13 all. Mark Strawberry Fields is gonna come up with a big play here. Whoop! The ball's loose. Scramble. He's there to grab it. 
The Eagles back on offense after a missed field goal. Chad Lewis is going to find himself on the receiving end of this one as he works his way open for the big play. That set up a 33-yard field goal, and that's where we'll leave this one. Eagles squeaked out a win, 16-13. to Now let's take a sec to chat with our player of the game. The guy who seemed to be all over the field on defense and came up with big play after big play. Matt Ware is standing by with Susie Colbert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You were fantastic. You may have the ingredient your team needed to pull out a win here. What was the key to your success? Well, I have to hand it to the offense. They did a great job finding holes in the defense and getting into the end zone. Those long drives kept us rested and allowed us to keep up our energy level on defense. Chris, back to you. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN. Celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.